Hello, thank you. Give her a uh, lovely uh, departing clap. But she's she's going to hop on an airplane. To tell you how new she is to Alaska, she's over my house. We're watching the snow out the window, and she goes, do you think the airports are going to be open? <laughs> <laughs> we don't ever close. We're like the Philippines when it comes to washing your car. Oh. Too soon? Too soon. No. They don't have cars. Anyway. <laughs> Wait, not a mail order bride. <laughs> so what happened? Hey, we did get our first snow though. That's great, isn't it? <laughs> Fuck yeah! We were literally last week. I was bitching because we didn't have any snow and it didn't feel like winter. It was 50 degrees out, and now we're really into winter. And I fucking hate it already. <laughs> fucking horrible. You know what? You get jaded. You live here long enough in the winter, don't you? Because like it's snowing out now, and you're gonna go outside. And there's freezing rain before it snowed. And your windshield is fucking thick. And you realize you didn't put your scraper back in your car yet. And you realize you don't have anything that successfully works like a piece of plastic. ID, card, anything. What do I do now? I just get it. I fuck it. I just take the cigarette lighter and burn two holes in my windshield. I can see. I'm not going that far anyway. Wasilla. Anybody know when the fireworks stands open? Yeah. Like that. That's the thing you gotta be careful. It's not about you driving, it's about some jackass running into you, isn't it? I'm fucking driving, there's like four accidents. I saw them all right in my rearview mirror. I'm like, what the fuck are they doing back there? <laughs> fucking idiots. <laughs> fucking, I think the shopping cart would have warned them to slow down. <laughs> down. So I love it. Yeah, no, that's the reason I moved here. But I'll tell you what, I mean, Fairbanks. Fairbanks is so much worse than Anchorage, so that's why we can't bitch. I mean, Fairbanks. I was supposed to go there like three different times. Fucking never made it that. One time the plane didn't take off. Another time car broke down. Another time we just didn't go. <laughs> it was like God telling you, don't do it. And just when I'm about to go, finally, this guy said my bar goes, don't go to Fairbanks. It sucks, dude. It's horrible. It's like locked up abroad. You're going to hate it. I'm like, what do you do? He goes, I'm the mayor. <laughs> But I went, but I didn't go in the summer like you went, because it's 80 degrees in the summer and 80 below in the winter. So I said, let's go in the winter, because I don't see none of that. <laughs> so we go there, and uh, you know, you always see the Pikes Landing commercials, right? Yeah. So we get there, it's like 23 below. So we go, we'll stay at Pikes. It turns out Pikes is full. We didn't make reservations, because we figured, who goes to Fairbanks? So it turns out, you know what they do? They give vouchers to all the people who don't have homes. They give them, guess where they stay with the voucher? Pike's Landing. That's right. They get a cookie every morning. They're fucking geniuses. Talk about hometown favorites. So I'm the out-of-town guy. I go, I got money. What you got? He goes, there's a strip mall hotel thing down the street. I go, well, who stays there? He goes, well, not the homeless. So so I stay there. It's a horrible, it's a dumpy little shitty place, and I have a cold like I do right now, and my head is just completely fucking killing me. So I check in the room. It's like a fucking crack house. I'm like, okay, fine, whatever, I'm just sleeping, and I'm leaving, it'll be fine. So I check in the hotel, and I go drive all around the fucking Fairbanks, it's about 20 minutes, and everything is closed, because it's 9.30. <laughs> and I'm like, are you kidding me? I just want some cold medicine. And there's nothing open, so I fucking finally go back to the room, I go, fuck it, I'll take a hot shower. So I take a hot shower in this filthy stink hole, and I'm taking a shower, and fucking... I finally feel like I can feel like at least breathe again. And I go to step out of the shower and my foot freezes to the tile. I had to pee on myself to get free. Because I'm a survivalist. But then I pee on me, so I had to get back in the shower. And the water ran out. And I figured, why freeze to death in the shower when you can freeze to death in the room? And apparently, I'm the only guy to pee on himself because that's what the room smelled like. So I'm laying there just trying to get to sleep and the neighbors with fucking paper thin walls are just making noise. Non-stop noise, bang, bang, blah, blah, blah. So finally, I think I'll be—I'll just go tell them to hold it down, right? Because this is fancy. So I knock on room five, missing letter six. I go, excuse me. He goes, what's the matter? Can't you sleep? And I go, no, I can. I just can't do it right now. He goes, would well, you want some meth? And I'm like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they're still up. <laughs> so I get meth, and thanks, and it's not what you think. I go back to my room, and thanks to high school science, I convert it back to Sudafed. <laughs> <laughs> I was like a 